Welcome to our lecture online. In the previous video we found the general equation for the slope of the function r equals 1 plus 2 times the sine of theta, which by the way is, is drawn over here, by taking the or finding the general equation for the derivative of polar functions dy dx is equal to the ratio of dy d theta over dx d theta, so we end up with this general expression in terms of r and theta, what the slope is of that equation anywhere on the function. Then, to find the slope for a particular condition, in this case, we want to find the slope when r is equal to zero, we plug in zero for r in this general equation, and we end up with the tangent of theta. We showed you how to do that on the last video. But since we don't know what theta is when r is equal to zero, we can't solve for the slope. The next thing we need to do is now, we need to find theta when r is equal to zero. Which means we're going to then go back to the original equation and plug in Let's see, in this case, 0 for r and solve for theta. So, from this equation, we now write 0 is equal to 1 plus 2 times the sine of theta, and we solve this for theta. So, that means we can write this as 2 times the sine of theta is equal to negative 1, or the sine of theta is equal to negative 1 over 2, which means that theta is equal to the inverse sine that should be a dot right here, inverse sine, of minus one-half. So at what point is the sine of theta equal to minus one-half? Well, that would be 30 degrees past 180 and 30 degrees before 360. So in other words, that means that theta is equal to 180 plus 30, which is 210 degrees, or it can also happen at 330 degrees. Those are the two angles for which the sine of theta will equal negative one-half, which is in quadrant three and four. So now that we know that, we can now go back and plug those two values in to our general equation that we found for the slope of the function when r is equal to zero. So now we can say that dy dt, or dy dx, when r is equal to zero, is equal to the tangent of 210 degrees, or the tangent of 330 degrees. So now we need a calculator to figure out what the slope is at those two locations. So we take 210, take the tangent of that, that gives us 0 0.577. So this is equal to 0 0.577, or when you plug in 330, that should be the negative of that number, and oop, let me do it again, 330, take the tangent, sure enough, or a negative 0 0.577. So these are the two slopes that we'll find when r equals 0 at the origin right here. So the positive slope comes from this portion of the curve, the negative slope comes from this portion of the curve. So it seems uh, very likely that that's about right, and this is how we find the slope for this particular condition. Now if you want to find the slope, when theta equals zero degrees or 90 degrees, something like that, of course, then you again plug in a new condition in your general equation and find the slope elsewhere. And that's how it's done.